For an interesting place to visit, Jason Davis went on the road to the northwest corner of the state. Yeah, it's odd, unusual, and perfect if you have a sweet tooth. Sabin, Minnesota used to be quite a busy little town. Apart from being a prosperous center for local potato growers, it was on one of the main highways linking the Twin Cities and the Fargo-Moorhead area. But when Interstate 94 opened up in the early 1960s, the town just sort of shriveled up and died. The interstate took all the traffic away from, from uh, you know, coming through the town. So. Sabin is a very unlikely location for a new and unusual business. But that didn't deter the McWethy brothers, Chuck and Mike. They come from Minneapolis or another small town or even out of state to stop in and just see the, oh my gosh, I, can't, I haven't seen this since I was a kid. The McWethys, who run a chain of hardware stores in the region, have created the Old 52 General Store, a destination for people who want to relive their childhood memories of traditional and vintage sodas and candies. The stuff you couldn't buy, you know, since you're a little kid, you know, and they got it here. More than 300 different kinds of soft drinks, soda pop from all over the country, even some exotic imports. We've got German, English, um, they're Australian, Mexican, Japanese. I mean, there's a lot of people that are looking for some of these sodas they remember as a kid and the memories. This store also carries a wide range of hard-to-find and retro candies, oddities like Velo Milk. Sky Bars, Cherry Mash and Cup of Gold, Goldenberg's Peanut Chews and Red Vines Licorice. I don't know if you're familiar with this, the C. Howard's. To me it tastes like, I always call it, Great Grandma's apartment. Since the McWethy brothers turned an old dilapidated store into this bright tourist attraction, business has been brisk. Many come for the sodas, others for the candy, and a few drop in to pick up a toy from yesteryear. For local folk like Chuck Krabenhoff, the Old 52 store provides a place to buy groceries, have a quiet cup of coffee, and watch the world come to Sabin. I've seen a lot of people come through here that I've never seen before, and they stop and they've heard about it. This is a great, this is a great asset to the community. It's a great asset. <laughs> Jason Davis, 5 Eyewitness News, on the road, Sabin, Minnesota.